I was diagnosed with leukemia when I was 11 years old. Uh, it's a cancer of the white blood cells. And after treatment, I, was, I had a relapse when I was 13 years old. So I had to undergo chemotherapy and radiotherapy this time as well. Um, it was a very depressing moment for me when I was diagnosed. Uh, initially, when I was a child, it was a very confusing time. But um, when I was told of the relapse, um, it was just mere depressing to hear that you have a relapse after going through chemotherapy the first time. I required regular top-ups of blood to continue with my treatment because um, the body could not take harsh treatment of chemotherapy without having a normal blood level. From my experience, it made me aware that there is a constant need for blood on a day-to-day -day basis, um, not only for major accidents or disasters, but also for, um, to help people like me to continue with our treatments. I would like to say thank you to the donors who donated blood and Red Cross for helping me get the blood that I needed during uh, that crucial period of my life. Even if you can't donate, it really helps when you spread the word to your friends, your family to come and donate blood. I'm Jordan. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hi, I'm Ashley. And welcome, welcome to Bali. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nathan Ramesh, the Vice President of Bali Student Council. I would like to warmly welcome you to our very first Bali Student Council virtual VIA event. I will now hand the time over to the MCs. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Phoebe, and this is Atira. We are your MCs for today. For our Values in Action project this year, the Bali Secondary School Student Council will be collaborating with Singapore Red Cross to raise awareness for blood donations. In view of the current COVID-19 situation and to adhere to safe management measures, we have decided to do it differently by hosting this event virtually. Through this virtual event, we hope to share with you more about the noble act of donating blood. Our event, entitled Live to Give, hopes to inspire all of you to step forward to donate blood. This is to ensure that blood supply is maintained at a healthy level in the blood banks of Singapore. To those who are unable to donate blood at the moment, don't fret. You can still do your part by spreading the message to those who can. I told my family members about our meaningful event so that they will know there is a constant need for blood in Singapore. Let's watch a short clip which highlights some important information about blood donations. Let's go! Together with me is Beverly. Beverly, why are all the counselors holding such heavy water bottles? Hmm, I think I know. 
the 87 councillors present will be coming together to do five mini arm exercise with these 1.5 litre water bottles. Well, I guess this is for us to train our arm muscles. To those watching us from home, you can join us in this arm workout. That's right. Come on, councillors. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Excellent. Let's proceed with our activity. choose this arm exercise to spread the word about blood donation? Yes, Izati. I heard that to donate blood, our veins must be thick and strong so that they'll be visible when we are donating our blood. So, to be potential blood donors, our student counsellors will be lifting a 1.5 litre water bottle filled with water. This is to remind us to hydrate ourselves frequently. Do you know that it is very important to drink lots of water, especially before and after donating blood? This is done to replenish the red blood cells in our body. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Next, we have Anna. So, after doing this activity, can you share with us what you have learned from it? Doing the activity was difficult. My arms are sore, but this helps to make my muscles stronger and make my veins more visible so that they can withdraw blood easily. However, there are other ways I can do to be an eligible blood donor. For example, having a balanced healthy meal with uh, iron-rich food can help too. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Lastly, we have Jafran. Can you share with us what you hope to contribute to the Singapore Red Cross in the future? I want to contribute by donating blood at a blood bank so that I can share my experience to an audience and inspire them to donate blood and save lives. I also want to raise awareness on social media platforms so that my friends and family can be inspired to donate blood as well. I also want to find out more about Red Cross initiatives so that I can take part in them and help out in any way that I can. Thank you. Thank you, Jafar. Now let's continue to watch the councils in action.
Okay, I've now come to the end of the Bali Student Council 5 minute arm workout. I do feel like my arm muscle has strengthened after this workout. I will now hand over the time back to Phoebe and Athira. Bye! Thank you for joining us for our first virtual VIA event. The need for blood doesn't stop. The Singapore Red Cross needs your help to continue to save lives. On behalf of the 23rd Bartley Student Council and teachers in the Student Leadership Committee, we would like to thank our Principal, Mr. Azar, our Vice Principal, Mrs. Tan, teachers and all guests for joining us in the virtual event. Atira and I would also like to thank everyone here for making time to be part of the Bartley Secondary School Student Council effort. We would like to wish you a very pleasant day ahead.